Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our continuing education class for April. We're talking about toxic free living with essential oils. And if you've been joining us for our previous months, we've had many different topics really just diving in on one specific area and ways that you can use your oils. So we've dedicated as a team of coming together and educating um, all different ways that you can oh, use these gifts that you have, all the gifts of the earth. Like the audio on the TV. Um, so if you just came uh, on, can you mute yourself? Or I can look on muting, yeah. Cool, and we have the chat box available. If you wanna chat in and, and conversate at all, ask any questions. Alina loves magnolia. Allison loves lime, nice. I've been, um, so on the last call, I don't remember which one, but we talked about creating the Tiger King blend. And my husband created it um, this weekend. And it's a mix of Siberian fur, white fur, and Douglas fur. And it smelled amazing, all the fur oils for Tiger Rar. Anyway, moving on, we're just gonna introduce ourselves. We are co-teaching this class tonight. So go ahead and my name is Megan, welcome. I got into essential oils um, basically because of the topic tonight. I realized I had all the toxic products in my home when I was studying to be a health coach. And I knew that I had to make the switch with myself first. And I was introduced to doTERRA essential oils and really learned how to swap everything. So you're gonna learn that in our class tonight too. So I'm really excited you're here for this topic. Nina. Hi guys, my name is Nina. I am a wellness advocate in doTERRA as well. And I love essential oils because they have been able to provide my family and also all my clients with a better alternative and a more effective alternative of taking care of their health. I particularly use them every single day and I find them just, you know, like so versatile and I love the fact that you can do so many things with each one of them. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alina, and I'm also a wellness advocate with doTERRA. I work with Megan. Um, I love the essential oils for lots of reasons, but my main reason that I got into them was because of my son. Uh, he was super hyperactive, had tons of energy, so I wanted to find something to help ground him, root him more into the earth. I come from a very natural, holistic background. I've been practicing yoga since I was 15. I grew up with getting acupuncture and Chinese herbs as a kid and I actually used essential oils as a child, but I got a little disconnected from earth. I went into the medical field and became an ultrasound technician and worked in the medical field for about 10 years, um, even worked in the FDA, helped to approve drugs. So it was very fascinating. I didn't like the toxicity level of that world. So I ended up leaving it, going more and back and diving into the holistic lifestyle. So I teach yoga full time. I do yoga teacher trainings and I help educate people on how to use essential oils into their home, especially on a more emotional basis. So thank you all for joining us. Unmute. Okay, did you know since cleaning products aren't food, beverages, or drugs or meant to be ingested, they are not regulated by the US Food and Drug Administration. So the government only requires companies to list chemicals of known concern on their labels. And the key word here is known. So unfortunately, the government has no idea whether most of the chemicals used in everyday cleaning products are safe because it doesn't doesn't test them and it doesn't require manufacturers to test them either. So this is part of the reason why we're starting to do our own research and go back to natural occurring simple ingredients to remove toxins from our homes to protect our health and our well-being. And I'm going to dive even more um, in depth about the science of this. Uh, she's quite the expert, so I'll let her take it away from here. So when it comes to our toxic exposure, um, that's something that is 
that we're dealing with on a daily basis. So we're being exposed to toxic load. We have this excessive toxic burden on our body coming from household products, from personal care products, from the lotion that we put on us, the shampoo conditioner that we put in our hair, all the way to our laundry detergent. So our body is made up of millions and millions of cells. And for those of you that are in the healthcare field, just bear with me here. For those of you that aren't, I'll kind of um, bring it to more um, understanding level. So our bodies are made up of millions and millions of cells and our cells reproduce and they reproduce at a healthy rate or an unhealthy rate. So if we give ourselves good food, good water, nourishing thought exercises, this is going to feed our cells and our body and they're going to replicate at a healthy rate. But what's happening today is that we're being overexposed to so much of this toxic burning, again, coming from household products to personal care products. And our bodies can't handle this, this overload of toxicity. So our bodies react to a different way, um, having certain side effects, headache, nausea, cloudy, foggy head. So when we interact with all of this heavy burden of toxicity, our cells react to them. So remember I said we're made up of millions of cells. So here's a little cell. And then we come in contact with, let's say a synthetic agent. So a fake peppermint breeze sort of a smell. And our body ingests it, whether it's topically on our skin, we're inhaling it through the air. Yeah, so when our cells become affected by something synthetic, it gets tricked. It's like, oh, that smells like peppermint. But then our body reacts to it and it's like, no, you tricked me. This is not peppermint. This is some kind of chemical that you made to smell like peppermint. And we have a side effect from it. So when we use um, more holistic stuff, going back to plant medicine, to mother nature, to essential oils, we're reducing that toxic load. So because if we're having so much of this overburden of toxicity, you're seeing a lot of um, autoimmune disorders. Um, we're just not really feeling that well. So if we can reduce our toxic load, then we're going to give our cells a better rate at reproducing. And again, we want them to reproduce at a healthy rate. So it's really important to know what we're putting into our body, what we're putting onto our body, what we're smelling, what we're coming in contact, because this, our body is, we're magnificent creatures and we can evolve and work. But when there's just so much that our body is combating that it starts to have a hard time reacting and fighting. So again, once we can reduce this toxic burden, we'll have a better chance of becoming healthier, feeling better and overall well-being. Okay, so you want to go over the two major sources of toxins we're exposed to? Alina, you want to take away the household and personal care? Sit. Go ahead. Sorry. You want to take this section on the household? And oh, the yeah. Yeah, so I mean, that's talking earlier about like the toxins that we're exposed to as household products. So while some companies make products that are safe to eat, other companies choose to use known human carcinogens or develop toxins like coal tar and lead acetate. While risky chemicals are used in cosmetics, the stakes are high. These are not trace contaminants like those found at part per million or even part per billion level in food and water. So these are the base. Can't see it after that. Yes. Okay, so if we're gonna be making the swap we can go natural and Alina or Nina can talk, talk to us all about that natural options that we have that, or you can DIY. Yes. So um, there is a lot of natural options that doTERRA has because doTERRA is not only about the oils, but, but also about their whole line of products that are infused with essential oils. So with doTERRA, you have the option to either make your own concoctions to take care of your skincare or of your household products in general, or you can also uh, just get them directly when they're already made. I like to mix up both of them. One of the main things that you can do, which is the very basic, is exactly what you're going to put in your mouth because that's the beginning of your digestive system. So you got to be really careful. I love to use the toothpaste. The toothpaste that's my favorite toothpaste ever, uh, actually, because there has no fluoride, which is very detrimental for your health. Uh, fluoride actually does not have anything to do in your house. It's one of those chemicals that 
no business in your area at all. And also, it doesn't have a bunch of synthetic um, flavors that are, you know, like you don't know where they're coming from. So we, I completely got rid of anything that is synthetic, like the regular brands that you can get on the store. And even sometimes a lot of like the healthy brands can be also super loaded with other chemicals that especially are put there for flavor, okay? Now, the second one that is super important as well is the deodorant. Uh, in here, we have the doTERRA balance. I love particularly the sensitive one, which is made with Douglas fir and Greek orange. And this is, I love it. When some people, the one that we have from doTERRA has baking soda. Sometimes people can have a little bit of rejection to baking soda, but doTERRA also has the other option, which is for sensitive skin with no baking soda in it. And also, let's say you don't have your deodorant with you, you can also replace with very simple uh, solutions, such as using Maleluca oil. If you are in a uh, in cold climate, you can also use another citrus oil like lemon and maybe just plain orange. Uh, very important to know that most real regular deodorants have a very Harmful synthetic, just the aluminum. And you don't want aluminum, especially in the area that is close to your breast. So especially for women, this is super important. Also, this is not an antiperspirant. So antiperspirants are very dangerous for you because they clog your pores that are supposed to be your ways of being detoxifying your system, all right? So now the next one, which is, I love it, and I love my hair so much, and my hair is my pride and joy, I love to use the shampoo and the conditioner. So I was a little hesitant for a while with the shampoo and conditioner because I was super stuck to my own product, but um, I also then started to realize that a lot of the products that are natural also have a lot of synthetic smells. And synthetic smells come from this chemical called phthalate. And unfortunately, even though they can be very mild, we're still getting them. And since our body, our skin is our biggest organ and is permeable, I you can still get a lot of those synthetics into your bloodstream through your skin. So even if you're not, if I'm not washing my face with it, it's still going on my hair and it's still touching my skin when I get when I take a shower. So then I decided to get rid of all the other stuff and just continue with the Terra. Gave it a little bit more month and then I started loving it. Then the last one that I love as well, obviously, is the Verash skincare. Actually, doTERRA has three different lines of skincare when it comes for uh, facial care. They have the, um, the essential care, which is the white line. It's very, very awesome. Then you have the Barrage Care Set, which is my favorite because I feel that this one is the best for combination skin. I have a little bit of more oily skin, so this works very well for me. And then they also have the HD Clear. And the HD Clear is great for people that is prone to breakouts. My nephew has breakouts and I send it to Purdue every other month. He uses the entire line and he just loves it. Also, uh, you can make your own skincare just remember to, uh, whenever you're going to be diluting oils, to apply them on your skin. You always want to stay with oils that are a little lighter than the fraction coconut oil that we have in doTERRA. So we always suggest to use oils as such organic vitamin D, I'm sorry, vitamin E oil or rosehip oil. Pomegranate seed oil is another really good option. You always want to stay with things that are light and that are not gonna necessarily clog your pores because the pores on your and your face are a little bit uh, smaller than the ones in the rest of your body and you can clog them easier. All right, so now you know which ones are great products to use. And then on top of that, I gotta add to this is that one great, great, great oil for the skincare Yarrow palm, you guys. Yarrow palm is the bomb diggity. Yarrow palm is amazing to help your skin even out, especially if you're having oils that are too, like if you're having uh, zones that are like crazy, like oil, oily for some reason, the yarrow palm, because it's so anti, um, it's a very great antioxidant and it's, also, it's great for balancing just everything on your skin. You can get rid of those like super oily zones and then just even it out more. Uh, so yeah, and then you can also get with the yarrow pump, you're going to take the capsule so it can help you from inside out. Awesome. I love, love, love yarrow pump and I've been using it um, 
daily, twice a day. And Yarrow Palm actually came in a hydrating body serum as well as the capsules that Nina just recommended. But Yarrow Palm, it comes in a double size of the essential oil that you normally get. We would normally get 15 milliliters. Yarrow Palm's 30 milliliters. So that by itself is $95. Um, it's worth the price. And then we also have the serum and the capsules. There is a Yarrow Palm travel collection kit on sale or for sale on the website that gives you um, half sizes of the body serum, Yarrow Palm and the capsules. So you can try all three of the products to see which you like. You may like them all, but it comes in this little cute oil carrying case too. And it's like 70 something dollars for all three in the case. So I highly recommend if you haven't tried Yarrow Palm and you wanna try all of the Yarrow Palm um, products, get that little collection. Okay, so we're gonna go over seven more easy swaps besides the DIYs, ditching the candles because most candles are made of synthetic fragrance. They're made of paraffin wax, which creates highly toxic benzene and toluene when burned. And these are both known carcinogens. So the toxins released from the candles are the same kind that's found in, in diesel fuel flames, which is terrible. That's like in your home. So no thank you. Um, the best way to swap this out, ditch the candles, ditch the Glade plugins, and switch to a diffuser. So you can diffuse um, beautiful smelling, yummy smelling oils in your home to uplift your mood. Um, diffusing oils can purify the air and can clean, um, can kill airborne bacteria and mold. Top oil for, for that um, would be on guard for, for mold, viruses, bacteria. Um, and then, you know, being able to diffuse throughout the day uh, by using your essential oils, it's just pennies per drop. I've seen different memes out there that break down like the cost of a candle of how long you have it burning for compared to the cost of like a diffuser and lavender oil. I don't remember the, the exact numbers, but it was pretty eye-opening that you see. Once you do get into this lifestyle full on, it does start to save you money over time because you are just making things yourself um, or just getting from, from doTERRA shipped to you right to your doorstep. So the second one is one cleaner, which is the On Guard Concentrate. It's amazing because it's really, really versatile and it's very potent. So imagine just one cleaner for your floors, your counters, your windows, your toilets, you name it. On Guard Cleaning Concentrate, it's safe, more effective, and it's a natural alternative. So most all-purpose products contain detergents, grease cutting agents, solvents, disinfectants. The chemicals in these ingredients include ammonia, um, ethylene, glycol, so it's monobutyl acetate, sodium, hypochlorate. And so when you're starting to get into like those chemical names and you can't explain, um, you can't pronounce them, like this is where you want to take inventory. If these ingredients are in my cleaning products and I know that I take in toxins three ways from my environment, from what the air I breathe, the food I eat and, and what I put onto my skin, then you know if you're cleaning with these toxic chemical cleaners, it's getting into your system. So you can swap all that out and really just use your on guard concentrate. And a couple things that I found it's really good for in my house is when you're cooking your food on the pan um, or you're baking and it's just really caked on there and usually just like let it soak overnight, let it soak with a little bit of on guard concentrate overnight and it comes off just like nothing happened. And then it's also a really good stain remover. So instead of like shout out or whatever, Febreze, not Febreze, but I can't remember what the, the stain sticks, you know, use just on guard straight up and it will wash it clear. So I saw this from one at wellness advocate had a daughter with a white onesie and got like strawberries stained all over it. And she showed this and it came out clean the next day. And that happened with me spilling um, buffalo sauce all over a brand new white shirt came out clean and clear. And then on the back of the bottle, it will tell you to dilute, um, you know, one tablespoon with this amount of water for this type of job and two tablespoons with this amount of water for the other job. So it's really versatile. 
All right, passing the mic. All right. All right, so fresh air. Have I was talking about this earlier. Have you heard fragrances is this new secondhand smoke? Yep, fragrances commonly contain phthalates, which are chemicals that help scents last longer. Health risks for phthalates include cancer, human reproductive and developmental toxicity, endocrine disruption, birth defects, and respiratory problems. So earlier when I was saying that we, our cells come in contact with this scent or this fragrance and it has a reaction, it has a side effect to it. So what can we do to replace um, these Glade plugins, to replace these air fresheners that we have in our house? Um, we can make our own air fresheners. It's pretty simple. And that's what's really cool about this stuff is you can make your own stuff. It literally takes seconds to do it and you don't have to go to the store, which we really only need to go now under essential reasons, but um, you can choose your favorite oils that you have. So for instance, um, one of my favorite ones that I love to make, I have like two sprays in my house, but one of them, well, I always have like a favorite, but favorite for the week. Um, I use the, um, the purify which is the the cleaning the cleansing the, ah, excuse me the cleansing blend so i will just get a small little bottle put some water in it and then add the amount of drops that i like and i use that as an air freshener around my house lately i've just been loving citronella citronella is a natural deodorizer so i'll use that if i'm cleaning my couch cushions i have three dogs and they're part of my family so we air it all cushions um, once a week so what i'll do is i'll take the cushions put them out in the sun get my my citronella spray again just a glass bottle with water and then I add the citronella in there it's very strong and then I spray it and then let the Sun kill all the bad bacteria we also know that these essential oils are um, antimicrobial antibacterial so not only will they kill and disinfect the air but they'll help kill the bad bacteria that is covering up our surfaces so pretty simple these DIYs which are really fun to do when you start getting into the um, really getting into the oils Oh, clean hands. Well, I think everybody's washing their hands right now. This is all really funny. <laughs> we should always wash our hands. So even hand soaps. Remember, we're having this toxic burden. We're overexposed to so much toxic. It's everywhere. Everywhere we go, we turn. We're being exposed. So we want to kill the bad bacteria, not the good bacteria. So hand soaps contain fragrances and a number of other chemicals. We um, all know how important it is to wash our hands. So let's do it risk-free. Make your own soap with essential oils or use the on guard ready um, foaming soap. So I have the um, foaming soap, I love it. Um, but let's say you run out of it and your order's not ready to get placed yet. It's really simple just to DIY your own hand soap. So I still reuse my same foam, um, foam dispenser that doTERRA gave me. And what I'll use is about a quarter, I'll fill it a quarter up with some Castile soap from Bronner's and the rest of it with water. And then I'll add um, specific essential oils to, um, to create the smell or the product that I'm looking for. Lately, I have been using On Guard, of course, in my hand soap, um, but I really like to add um, lavender in it because it gives it that little soft floral smell. Again, so super easy. You can make your own hand soap or you can buy the On Guard ready-made and use it for pretty much everything else that you need. Wash your hands. <laughs> yeah, with Purify. Yeah, I love Purify. Ooh, the laundry part. So um, it's just so cool, like what you can use the essential oils for. And I know we always geek out about it together when we get together, but we're actually, this is what we always do. We're like, oh, what one did you use? Um, dirty laundry. So we have dryer sheets contain harmful chemicals that adhere to clothes, vent into the air, they rub onto our skin. So these chemicals can mimic estrogen or they can trigger asthma. Um, so a couple things you can do is you can get your dryer balls and I actually just got my stepmom. I've slowly been working with her to get her to switch over from all of this toxic stuff in her house. So my last tackle, first I got her to get rid of all of the um, Glade plugins in the house. So that was a really fun and a great um, challenge for myself. So the next thing I was working on was getting rid of the dryer sheets. And she's like, oh, well, is it going to make the clothes soft? And is it going to make it smell good? I'm like, yeah, actually it does. So you don't have to go out there and spend more money. And we already have these oils in the home. So let's utilize them for another cause. So what can we do? So right now I am, I always use the dryer balls. My favorite is um, 
uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass on the dryer balls, I put them in the dryer, it just smells so good. I get compliments from all my friends, all my family, it's like, what are you putting in there? I'm like, oh, essential oils, duh. <laughs> So again, there's just so many things that you can do with these oils, what you can transfer, get rid of that toxic burden, and not only will you have a physical benefit, but the emotional effects are quite amazing as well. Thanks, guys. Awesome, yes. So yes, you can also get, uh, just following what you just said, Alina, there, there are vegan, uh, dryer balls, um, wool, vegan wool balls on Amazon. So those are the ones that I use and they work just as good as the other ones. Um, so now we're going to go and talk about on the go clean. So now obviously, you know, we're like really looking forward being able to have our oils on the go, especially when we have to touch things in the supermarket and when we have to open doors and all that stuff. So obviously, um, we don't want to have any of the yuck that is going on right now. And for that, uh, doTERRA has the on guard hand sanitizer, which I love. It's amazing. And it doesn't dry your hands. So um, one thing that obviously a lot of us have been like, oh, but there is a shortage of it. So you can make your own as well. And it's very simple. You can, for example, get your empties of doTERRA. I have my, this is an empty 50 milliliter bottle and online on Amazon, you can get the spray tops and you just like kind of cut it and you can make your own um, hand sanitizer. I made mine with three parts of alcohol and one part you can choose to make it with water, purified water, so you don't have any kind of buildup or you can also replace it. Like you can also fill it up with fraction coconut oil if you want to have something a little bit more moisturizer or glyst. I just, um, I like the coconut oil, but if I'm going to, let's say, use it for my car or for the doors, you know, like the doorknobs, then I like to use just a little bit of water. The rest is alcohol. And I like to put the purified um, oil, or you can also use ongar oil, maleluca oil, lemon oil. You try to stay with oils that are going to help, you know, like get rid of microbes. Then um, you... You can spray that everywhere, you know, you, without having the fear of adding extra as well, you know, harmful chemicals. Because at the end of the day, everything in this world is chemical. We are chemical. We all make of chemicals. What we have to be careful is of the harmful chemicals. So in this case, you know, and when it comes to sanitizing and uh, completely getting rid, you know, like when it comes to, it's very important to understand that even though we're using a lot of essential oil that are amazing, we do need to take care of adding uh, alcohol to that because we, that's the only way that you can completely sterilize something. Um, um, now we're going to go to the don't bug me. <laughs> I love the don't bug me part because I have an amazing story with that. And in the don't bug me part, we are showing the terror shield. Uh, you don't want spiders or mice. Uh, you can use the oils to deter um, to deter all kinds of bugs that you don't need. Um, use peppermint essential oils. It's safe for you. It's safe for your kids. Safe for your pets. I made my rest in peace doggy uh, flea anti flea collar by dipping it in a mix of essential oils and alcohol, and then you leave it hanging so you can dry up and it can last up to two weeks completely, completely natural. Uh, just in the quick, you can also do the Terra Shield, which is the spray that comes already made. Uh, it is, smells like citronella, or you can also buy the oil, the full 15 milliliter, and you can make bigger bottles. Let's say if you're gonna need more than just this one, the 10 milliliters, you can also get, get like two ounce bottles and make your own mixes. And also you can use them in your diffuser uh, in case you're having open windows and you need to keep the box out. I have an awesome story in Peru. We had, um, my sister forgot the window, the one of the main windows in her house open overnight. And we had, it was really hot in Peru and we got a bunch of mosquitoes coming in the house and we had a party. So we always slept over. And my sister had her diffuser. My mom brought her diffuser to sleep over because she loves to sleep with lavender. And I sleep in the same bedroom with my mom. So while we heard the rest of the house, but my sisters, but everybody was like, oh, you know, like mosquitoes. 
in our bedroom, we had the diffuser going on with lemongrass and lavender, and we had two mosquitoes that never came off the ceiling. They were stuck to the ceiling the whole night. As long as the diffuser was going, the freaking mosquitoes did not want to go down. And that we were like, oh my God, that's amazing. So yes, so much yes, you can do that completely natural. All right, so now we're gonna explain you how you can get these items that most likely if you started with a simple kit <clears throat> for just oils, you didn't get them. Or maybe you started with a larger kit and you did get them and now you want to reorder again. So the Terra, we have the amazing option to create your wellness box. And every time that you create a wellness box that is delivered to your home and that you can also change every month. So every month you can change the products that come in, you can change the date, you can change even the address, you can change the shipping, you can change anything, you can change the credit cards. So you, don't, you have all the flexibilities to get everything that is completely necessary for your home instead of going, let's say, to like Whole Foods or Publix or Target to get these things. So instead of spending money in these stores that are not going to give you anything back, you can just get your high quality products directly from the Terra and every time that you order you also get points back into your account. You get your points back, you can get your shipping back as well on points and then you can use these points to exchange them for other points or other products which is amazing. And for example, in here, we have a great option. This is, for, this is a sample of a wellness box. This wellness box is worth 133 point value. The total of the, this box containing all of these products is $162. Some of the products of the Terra have a different point value that they are priced. Most of them have the same, but some of them have a little bit less point value. So let's say if you order something of over 125 point value, before the 15th or on the 15th, you will also get a free product, which is, you know, this month we have the Kananga oil, correct? And we have the Kananga oil. Am I wrong? Clementine oil. Uh, the Clementine, the Clementine. We have the Clementine this month. I just used my bad completely. Uh, yeah. So we have the Clementine oil. Yes, which is so cool because in the Terra, every time that you get the free product of the month is usually an oil that is not in the regular list of oils. So you always get the chance to get something that is not usually available. So that's super cool. Makes it so exclusive and cool. All right. And then you can also get as well. As you keep going with your ordering and you keep making this your lifestyle, the Terra will add more and more percentage to what you get. So you will start with a 10% everything back as long as you order more than 50 point value. You will start at 10% and then every three months you get 5% more until a year after you get 30% back. So from this 133 PV, you will get 30% back in your account on the 15th of the next month and you can use that to get a bunch of free stuff. So it's so, so, so worth it to just, instead of spending time shopping anywhere else that is not gonna give you anything back, you just get it directly from the Terra. It comes sealed to your house, you choose the day that you want it, and then you have a happy home and a bunch of free stuff. Yes. I always say this is like the frequent flyer miles program, but for oils and you get yes. to have to cash in all your doTERRA points. I like to cash them in for like the more expensive oils, like Yarrow Palm and Sandalwood, Melissa. Immortal, Melissa. So it feels like you're like gifting yourself something special, like when you use your points. Absolutely. And it's so awesome because you can really just, that's a perk of your membership, you guys. So you have your wholesale membership. Um, only wholesale customers and wellness advocates can receive the points back. So take advantage of that and don't think of the monthly wellness box as spending new money, but you're just going to, you know, all the things that you used to buy from Target, CVS, your grocery store, you know, you're buying them from somewhere. If you buy them from doTERRA, it's pure essential oil products. And then it's like Nina said, delivered to you and then you're earning back. So this is just to break it down a little bit more in detail so you can understand. The loyalty rewards program is optional. So anyone can join it. And to be able to stay in the program um, and to be able to accrue your loyalty points and keep them adding, you'll want to buy one PV worth of product per month. So that's one, one item. So it may be an oil one month. It might be your vitamins the next month. It may be 
you know, um, toothpaste. But if you want to be earning the points back, that 10% and then ending at the 30%, you'll want to spend 50 PV each month. And that's really easy to do when you truly treat doTERRA as your household name and you're, you're buying the stuff for your household and your family anyway. Um, it's easy to start earning points. And then if you are a wellness advocate or interested in learning about doing your own wellness business and joining our wellness advocate team, to be able to earn commissions from the company, we spend 100 points a month on the products that we use for ourselves so we can have the experience and the knowledge to be able to share it with others. And then for both wellness advocates and customers, the 125 gets you the free oil of the month like Nina was talking about with the Clementine. And I always like to set up my loyalty cart scheduled before the 15th in case I, I really like the free oil that month, I'll bump up my, my cart, but at least you have it um, always coming to you in case you, you ordered a big order that month. And then here it is just breaking it down. So you can see to be able to, to jump up to 30, you stay a few months at each tier. And then when you're spending 50 points after your, your months um, accumulate, you'll be getting those massive savings. And just to put it into perspective for you, like there's those certain um, 200 PV promotion months, like during Christmas, if you spend 200 PV, you get a free frankincense, and just different things throughout the year. And whenever those come up, of course, I'm going to buy to get the free oil because like you, you're showing up on a Monday night to learn about oil as you're as oil obsessed as the rest of us. But uh, I earn 30% back on off that $200. So that's 60 doTERRA dollars coming back to me, plus the money you spend on shipping was $64 that I spent. And it was like me getting my, my vitamins, my husband's vitamins, you know, the on guard laundry detergent or whatever I needed around the house. So it's a really awesome program that pays you back um, we wanted to just drop that in and then wish you happy swapping, ditching and switching, and open it up for questions. If anyone wants to um, unmute themselves or chat in the box, I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, anybody? Okay, well, you know where to find us if you do have questions. And then if you are trying out some of these swaps, tag us on your, on your if you're posting about it, tag us so we can see and share recipes. Um, Melissa has a question. Um, wellness advocates need to spend 100 points per month. Yes. So this is PV. So just note that um, not all products are equal dollars to points. So most of the essential oils are equal dollars to points. If you're just doing oils in your cart, it could be 100 PV and roughly around $100. For example, I get my vitamins every month. They're $80, but there's 60 PV. So I'll have to add in the additional 40 PV to, to make that 100. But this could be on you know products that you use for yourself. Maybe it's on oils that you want to sample out to people so they can try it. Um, you don't have to use 100 points per month. No, you, act, you spend 100 points per month. So that's what you purchase monthly to be considered an active wellness advocate who earns commissions. And then based off that 100 points that you spend, a percentage of that, depending on what tier you are, will come back to you in points. So if you're a new wellness advocate earning 10 per point percent back, you're going to get 10 points plus your $4 in shipping. So off of your 100 dollar orders, you're earning about $15 in doTERRA points back. All right. Cool. Well, is there anything that Alina or Nina would like to add before we sign off? Um, yes, I wanted to like uh, just point out that um, uh, Alina, you're so awesome, so knowledgeable. Thank you so much, Megan, for putting this together. Uh, this is super important to understand. As sometimes we just like look at products and then not really necessarily read labels. Um, you guys, it's super important as well to know that whenever you buy something that is not a Terra, 
um, somehow there are loopholes in the government where companies don't need to put all the ingredients of their products unless they are sold for large companies. So if you go to the store and you get your cleaners, you won't be able to see all of the ingredients because they, these big pharma companies have lobbied their way so they can hide it from you. All right. So it's very, very important that to understand that. Um, and also I posted in the notes uh, uh, in the chat that regular and it's especially for anybody that has small children, anybody that is using regular um, fabric softener, stay away from it because it, take, it makes the fabrics um, less flammable resistant. So it will take a, it, it, it is easier for clothes to catch fire if you use regular uh, fabric softener. So, you know, like you can always, we just don't know these little details that are so important to know, but we just like, Phew right because they are they're either written in itty bitty letters or uh they have gone through loopholes so they don't have to say anything be mindful of that oh thanks for that tip that's very useful um allison's writing about carpenter ants that come in from one particular window peppermint oil if you drop this on your window sills and outside of your doors it will keep ants and spiders away um, and then Troy has a question and maybe and maybe Alina will know or maybe even Liz will know. Um, he was wondering if we have advice for spider mites on some plants that he is pre potting. Alina has a garden. I know that and there's there's a blog post on essential oils for gardening. I just don't know off the top of my head. I mean, peppermint spray works really good. Just if it rains or you water the plants, it'll get washed away. Um, so you have to kind of keep applying it. Neem, neem oil um, is a um, oil that you can get. doTERRA doesn't have it. So you can buy it like at um, holistic garden facilities. We use that also around our garden. And then we use diatomaceous earth as well um, to help protect against bugs. Oh, you know, that's great. Those are great tips. I want to start gardening again now. <laughs> um, but if, is Kimmy still on? Because Kimmy was doing research on gardening. If you are available to speak, Kimmy, and you have any tips to share, you can unmute. Maybe she's just. She's just hey, there. I'm here. I'm getting dinner ready, but I'm trying to find, there is a blog post, you're right. Um, I looked it up for my grandma and I know, I know peppermint was one of them, but I can't remember the other, but it was, it was basically a recipe to keep the bugs away. So you would make it into a spray bottle and just spritz the leaves, yeah. imagine? Yep. Mm, cool. Yeah. yeah guys, if you haven't seen doTERRA's blog, specific blog, just Google it because there's like food and recipe blog, there's like DIY blog, there's a science blog. And for the wellness advocates on here, there's a wellness advocate business blog. So there's so much information there and it's also really great content that you can share with your customers and just with people dealing with certain things, you can share recipes and just send them to the blog. Cool. All right, well, thank you all for joining. Um, coming up soon, I'm going to host, um, this would be next Monday, a, a class on mental wellness. So really featuring the adaptive line. So this is gonna be on the 20th. It's gonna be a little, um, a quick essential oils 101 to just catch anyone up who hasn't got started with oils yet. And then we're gonna dive in about with um, adaptive and managing your stress levels using holistic options. So keep on the lookout for the link there. Um, if you are working with me, you'll probably get it through my, um, newsletter or I'll just send you a text and share it in the groups. All right. Thanks for coming, everyone. Have a great night. Thank you. Welcome.